Hi guys, in this video I'm gonna show you how you could make timer in Android. So, I have this form, I have this counter, so when I click start, the timer should start counting. So, I click start, now the timer start counting from 1, 2, 3, and it will continue. When I click stop, it will gonna stop. So, now when so how, what we what I did to build this thing? So if you see in the form, I have two button, one for start, one for the stop. So I have two event for one button start and one button stop. So first, and in the in the Chromenicas activity, I define text view and counter uh, uh, object from the class counter. So so the counter is the class. A class that name is counter that extend counter ti down timer. So this counter down timer timer have if you see a constructor that initialize the milli milli uh, millions in future. This mean how many minutes this count this count count down timer will have. Like if you have 10, 100, you write one hundred. And this count them down level interval is the interval between one minute and other when it's counting. So, so if we have one hundred and ninety nine, so the time between one hundred and ninety nine, this concept, this one, and it have like cancel when you when you to cancel the the timer and have other method like on ticks, which when when every time the timer changes. So this this method is called whenever. It's like whenever the time will be like if you have 100 to whenever be 100, 99, 98, and it's continue. And every time in every take, it will call this method and help finish this method called when it's finished. So I'm gonna here implement some of the method. I implement here, I implement like a constructor to this class that that receive but in the future and counter down I send it to the super class this mean I send it to this class to this uh, to this method then to initialize the milli futures another one and then I have a method on text this this method that set the txt this mean uh, the the text view set this text view by the text of the count id count as the just a variable if you see count add is the variable have a zero and in every, and every count will increase by one and I have this method for unfinish when we finish the counting the because because this this count is fin when we put 100 is go down from 100 to 1 then it's finished so we, we we need a timer that continue do not stop it so I I, I therefore I will call a method name it start timer again so to continue so on the start timer, I what I do, I get a new object from the class counter. I send him number of the minute and future and the interval. Then I see CT to start. I start the timer. Then here in the button start, I call this method. So when I call this method, this method will call this counter. Then also in the cancel button, I have CT dot cancel. So to cancel the counter, and you know what CT means. CT mean counter. Okay, thank you for watching and see you maybe another video.